And we are back. Fellow knife enthusiasts. With the Knife Brand Spotlight video. This week we're focused on... See, I did the noise. But tops. But it actually pops up. Knives. When I do it. Oh, I got A you. company that was founded in 1998, whose mission focused solely on creating the highest quality knives around using the extensive knowledge and real life experience of operators with backgrounds in military, law enforcement, outdoor professions like survivalists, and martial arts. All hope to aid tops in designing and creating the hardcore knives we know and love today. Yep. Many of the founding members of Tops Field Team have taken part in one or more of the fields we mentioned. So. Yeah. Founding members such as William Hill, Lawrence Keene, Stephen Matten, and Doctor. Dr. Charles D. McKillen. The best it. part is that all of Top's fixed blades, I think all of them, mm -hmm. are manufactured and hand finished at their facility in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. In the good old USA. Amen. USA. 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 I feel like I should have a hat. An eagle should be flying. Okay. You know, I'm waiting for the company that says our mission is to make as much money as possible and get out as quickly as we can. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this, you know, they all have this great mission to make a knife that will sustain well, me through the wild. they can't say the other thing because who would buy it? I don't know. I think I might respect it. Go ahead. Oh, wow. I'm sure you would. That's why you're so honest I think so I know that brand, here, by right? the way. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, they make a variety of products <laughs> along with just... Boss is going to have your head on a silver platter. You just be careful. <laughs> Along with the fixed blades, such as folding knives, outdoor gear and kits, survival whistles. I thought it was going to fall out of there for a second, but it's this one that's not. Okay. Man, I couldn't think of that term. Fire What's the starter, term in, uh, sheaths, axes, mugs. Mocking Jay, that, that movie. What is that term when she says, I offer myself as. I volunteer as tribute. Okay, I'll give him a tribute. In my honor, so he won't have to have my head on the side. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sure he'd rather have your mother-in-law's. I don't know. I bet Mug, it's a, shirts, I bet it's a caps, nice... shirts, caps, multi-tools, and spec-op pens. I think you All just of which can be found rhyme. at... Get my rhymes. Atlanticknife.com. Yep, okay. I think her head make a nice pin cushion. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of their more popular knives has to be the Tom Brown Tracker, mm -hmm. which they've done in a mini version. We brought that one here to uh, yep. so, demonstrate. I want to give you something Joel can handle. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's great. We happen to have the basic model here. Um, it is 6.5 inches overall with a 3.5 inch high carbon steel blade. Um, it's got a partial saw back with black traction coating, full tang. This one has the black linen micarta handle with the red liners. I think they're red micarta in between, I think. Mm -hmm. But you can get it like many of their other knives in tan, uh, camo, or with Rocky Mountain tread. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It also comes with a molded black Tidex neck or belt sheath on the mini. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to wear the large one around your neck. No. And the iconic Tops Emergency Survival <gasps> Whistle. Yes. So, Tom Brown Tracker? Mini Tom Brown Tracker. Okay, that one is what it is. It's a nice little knife. I agree. The large one, that's my favorite knife. Yeah, but I can't attach the large one to it. Nah, but it's like it's like the Matt Graham knives. You can do anything with them. It's just, I mean, you have True. a knife, I like it can do clip. everything. I always like these clips. I like this. Mm-hmm. I think it's a pretty good size, especially if you're going to take it outdoors or if you're going to... You could probably use it as a box cutter if you wanted to. It wouldn't be that difficult. Well, I mean, if you had a large tracker mm -hmm. and then you had this one as your backup or like, look, I wear this as my neck knife at work. I got the big daddy at home. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess the big mama. I don't want to be sexist here. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. your problem is sexism. <laughs> Not constantly uh, wanting to off your mother-in-law. That's that's not the issue. Yeah, she's the one. That Their knives come in either 1095 high carbon, uh, 154 cm, and N690 for the blade steels. And they also have Coyote Tan, Black Traction, Tumble Finish, Cherokee. Cherokee, sure. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, of course. And they will. camo finishes for the blades. Yeah, I'll correct you if you're right. <laughs> what? <Well, laughs> <laughs> try to keep you it can't, straight. You can't I kinda clean it here. While they offer black and or blue Spidera G10. <laughs> I love how you said that last week. And nobody corrected that. I, 
Everyone knew you were kidding. Did they? I was being serious by Derrico. And the Toops Knife. G10 green, tan brown. Canvas. Is that canvas? That's canvas. Micarda. Micarda. And aluminum. 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 You just made a new word. Aluminum. That is a. That's actually right. <laughs> Just stop. That's how the English people say it. Aluminium 6061-T6 for their handles. Mm -hmm. Or at least a slight variation. This is those. just one, and the Tom Brack Tracker are just one of the popular folding knives, along with the Bob Fieldcraft, the Brachimo, the Scandi Trekker. Operator 7. Steel Eagle. Top Street Scalpel 2. You heard it. Just to name a few. <laughs> They've also enlisted the help of a famous knife designers like uh, Joe Flowers. Mm -hmm. He's a condor, right? Yep. And Leo Espinosa, which I don't think... He's a variety. I don't think I've even... I might have met him. I don't know. I can't remember what he looks like. He's, he's been with a few other companies. Does he wear glasses? You don't know, do you? I, I don't know. If he wears glasses, I know him. If not, I can't. Okay. There's out the, uh, the Brothers of Bushcraft, Mike Gap, Tom Brown Jr. Of course. And mm -hmm. many others. Uh, like, I'm, I'm going to completely botch this. Lacey. Does that matter? A Marine who uh, designed the U.S. Combat Knife, another popular item on today's lineup. That's who did that one? Oh, that's the most called about knife. Hello. We were asked Hello. all the time is this the plain version? I guess they used to make it in combo, serrated a little bit at the bottom. Yeah. And people liked the plain one. I could see that. I guess. Or if somebody's messed it up along the way on the internet. It's, you know, mixed up in pictures somewhere. <laughs> of course. It's a bayonet style. I can tell you about this one in my sleep. Oh, that's it's great. It's a bayonet style fighting and field knife. 13.7 inch, 75 inch overall with a 1095 high carbon steel, which comes in at about, what, 56, 57? Mm -hmm. Call it 58 on the RC scale. Black traction <laughs> coating, black linen micarta handle. With the red line. Kind of a greenish black. Micarta, I don't Micarta see handle. Green. See, I see grayish green. I, see, I don't know. I see gray. You know, men and women on that stuff. This one is a bit on the heavier side. We see different color, colors. I gotcha. At 17.5 ounces. However, it comes with a black ballistic yes. nylon sheath with the Molly backing. Yeah, but it's got some paracord and top survival, survival whistle. whistle. I think this one is probably one of their more rugged tools that Tops offers. I mean, still easy to carry and use. Operator 7. I know Operator 7. I said one. One of the more. Just this one's a better price, though. And they have uh, much larger knives, like the Nada, Operator seven. which is mainly oh, used for chopping Chef's down knife. limbs that and That thing brush. is a beast. Remember, we did that one before. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Most of the knives fall into categories, tactical, hunting, survival. They even have kitchen knives. Mm -hmm. Or EDC, I guess, too. Like the new Street Spike. I don't want to put this one away. Well, let's hold it your hand in. Where's well, I gotta, sh I gotta show oh, this one, one though. I gotta. Yeah. This is a really light, easy to use carry. Mm -hmm. I mean, it weighs only you know two ounces. I mean, they do lots of light. neck knives like this. Like they have the the key, mm -hmm. key one, the key two, the key three. And the street scalpel is light, and the poker is yeah. pretty light. Poker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the skeletonized look on this one, and it keep that's what keeps the weight down because basically just made of 1095 as well so yeah. airs hairs lighter than steel <laughs> imagine that mm. i also think that because of the 1095 it makes it really easy to use and handle it's not going to you know wear down quickly not to mention it comes with the sheath and this fiber whistle as we said i appreciate when companies go the extra mile so i always like the extras that they do like the the whistle and the sheaths cuz i figure if you're going to spend like Eighty-five, ninety dollars. Least they can do is give you a sheath and a That's whistle. That's only like fifty or so, isn't it? I, I'm not sure. I this can't one remember. Might be, uh... We shouldn't say because I don't remember. Well, good because I don't remember either. I think that's where it's at. All right. Adelaidenknife.com. Exactly. It's some price. Bam! There it is. Look it up. <laughs> However, it's not just Tops alone that creates these knives. They have been collaborations with other companies such as Viking Tactics. We did those three. That's another video. A couple months ago, we did a whole video on that. which you just said. Links below and in the corner. Mm -hmm. They also did a collaboration on a folding knife with Buck. And not this one, though. This not this one. A different one from last different. year. Yeah. Kuma. Fox knives. This one here is Fox. I guess they don't do both. Coincidentally. Most of their folding knives are collaboration. Yeah. wonder why. Yeah, they don't do <clears throat> folding. I think they only have 1095 laying around. 
Right. So Fox Knives is the help making of their new CKT CQT Magnum folder. I'm doing the CRKT thing all over again. Oh, don't worry, it'll be coming. CQT Magnum folder, mm. which reminds me a bit of the SOG Seal XR we did for the Knife of the Week a few weeks because of it how is beefy. heavy duty it and that. chunky it is. It is. Mm. Well, I mean, it's like that, except no pivot lock and a little bit different handle. Which is a little sad for him because he loves the... Pivot lock. I think, I just, I don't know. I think this might be a little heavy to carry on, in your pocket. No, I'm not trying I to be like, sexist, but I don't think it was designed for you. Okay, well, is your jeans any really different than my jeans? No, but Other like... my smarts. Cause a lot of people who buy the large Voyager cold steels and those, they're big men. I know, but if this is gonna just imagine this sitting in your pocket, isn't gonna just, you know, bring it out or tip it out? Oh, I don't know. I think uh, I don't know. It comes with a. Uh, I haven't tested. It has a sheath, like right? Why would it have a sheath? Does it have a sheath? No, it's a folding knife. Well, some of them do. I, I think it just comes might, with honing oil. I, I thought think. you might attach it to your. Uh, it doesn't. No, it just comes with okay. the, the oil. Um, I don't know. You said ten ounces. That's not that heavy, I don't think. I just feel like it might affect the way it rides in your pocket. But you could just keep it in your bug out bag or well, like if in you your wear car. Skinny or... jeans. <laughs> Big man in skinny jeans. That's what you need right there. That's what the, all the world needs. I right, said, so what do you, oh God, what do you think about I like about the cut of the blade. Yeah. And I like all the cutouts everywhere. I think that gives it like a unique look. I oh, wish it had some jumping. You know what? Shh. I understand that, but it gives it a different look too, and I wish it had some jimping up there because I like jimping. But I, I guess because it puts jimping here, mm -hmm. so you don't really need it up there. Exactly, and your hand's only so big. Yeah. You got plenty of extra handle there. Exactly. All right. So, would you carry this one? Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I like it. I just think it was going to weigh down my pocket. I would just carry it in like my pack or something that's good enough for me see i think that's more what it's meant for you're yeah carrying it out in the woods not in uh I mean, or hiking i, I like, like it i like that i can use it that easily and it's big so it's not gonna just you know crap out on me when you i can hit it. stuff with it exactly mm -hmm. exactly and i'm not i don't carry fixed blades that often unless i'm like you know, going hiking or something so but it's not my favorite overall. My favorite overall would have to be, you guys already know, the Tufts Rapid Strike. Right down in there. And bring it with you. Yeah, exactly. So Back you don't really need knife. to put it in your pocket. Exactly. Yeah, I know. That's kind of the idea behind it. Well, then why put a pocket clip on it? Just leave it off. I mean, oh, because you, could, you, you might want to carry it in your pocket. Or you might want to just slide it over something. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, so okay. what was your favorite one? You know, Tufts Rapid Strike. Yeah, I knew All that. the way. Come on. Although, how, However, I like their new uh, kitchen knife. The, the XX Dicer kitchen knife. We don't have it yet, but we will let you know because I'll be taking tons of pictures of it and probably stealing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, paying for it legally That's with real U.S. dollars. Real U.S. dollars. Keep going on. <laughs> All right. Tell us again, Over, Juan. Overall favorite knife. <clears throat> Either tops, it can it, be on the not table. Not on this table, but it'll be the Tom Brown no tracker. tracker. Yeah, I'm not big on knives like this. I like them. It's awesome. But I think grenade when I see the handle too. Yeah, that's. I think that's the idea. I'm not sure. That's cool though. But uh, I like the it's other designed knives. Designed by Marine, so I'm betting. So. They seem more usable and and easier to Sturdy. swing. Sturdy. It's just nice. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you guys? Favorite tops knife? Best tops knife? You can you go know? way back to exactly. all the way back to '98. <laughs> Look, I love how you looked back there like you could see it from here. Oh, you know what? Not only could I see it, I lived it. Well, I lived it for a short period. I'm not going to give it away. Make sure to leave comments down below. I think I was in diapers in 98. Oh, were you? Or changing them. Ah. One or the other. <laughs> Probably the second one. <laughs> I bet. Go ahead. All right. That concludes the Knife Brand Spotlight for this week. Don't forget to like, yep. share, subscribe. Right there. Oh, yeah, you got a tops. Where'd you get that from? You stole it from the dude when we got at Blade Show. You're like, oh, that's a really nice pin. And then I walked up and he's like, Joel, isn't that a really nice pin? I'm like, oh, my God, yes. He's like, you know what? That's not stealing. You go <sighs> wow. With that. <laughs> what? You may I didn't. <coughs> Along with our show. I forgot to tell you, Blade share, subscribe, YouTube. comment, all that stuff. You know. All right. That's I'm not C fair. There's no way to not. You did not say Instagram. <laughs> oh you know what gosh. the way we did that and hit each other's hand people are gonna be like are 
are they married? Oh, definitely. Are, yeah, you can tell yeah. by looking at us, right? Exactly. Their brother. You know, some of you say, are you married? And the others say, are you brother and sister? There's incest Doesn't there and seem to be an issue there? There's misconnection going anyway, on there. I don't look like that. And I wish you looked and like And I'm this. funny. I'm C, and this is... I'm witty. <laughs> Moldy. Moldy. <This> is... <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Well, good. Wow. Ex exemplar. And maybe you should give her a ride right to the hospital. There as <laughs> According to you, I was you born know what? I should have said to her. We'll send Joel. <laughs> Joel's on her way. All right. Just Joel. Signing off.